And oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Now, so today we're going to talk about naming binary compounds and determining formulas and names. We're going to not worry about polyatomic ions, which are on that sheet that I had you pull out, but you are going to need some of the stuff on that sheet. And so we're going to skip that one slide about memorizing polyatomics. We'll work on those next week. So, binary compounds. Binary means they have two elements. A positive half. Um, I'm going to post these too, so it's up to you. Um, it's however you want to do your own notes here. Um, so, we have two elements, a positive half. This name comes first. This name is second. All right. The charges have to equal zero, and we're going to step through this step by step. And they always end in IDE. So, two elements, one's positive, one's negative, they have to equal zero, and they end in IDE. <clears throat> now, there's two different, there's three different types of binary compounds. This part you need to write down. They're ionic. These have a metal, which is to the left of the stair step, and a nonmetal. So the first type of binary compounds are ionic. They have one from the left side of the chart, one from the right side of the chart. All right. More or less, they, it's the type of bonding that they have. The second type is called molecular, and they have two nonmetals that are combined. And what I'm going to do here is you will get a copy of these two, and then also I'll post the video later today. <clears throat> and then the last type are acids, binary acids. And they have hydrogen plus a nonmetal. So, one, two, three. This app I'm using will leave all the notes on this whole thing, and you'll see as we go along. And on the video, you'll see how we do them as we go. So, and don't be afraid of this naming. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the key thing in, in going from a formula to a name is always to end in I-D-E. And we'll do some examples of that. We'll start with formulas and then go to names, and then we'll do some names to formulas. Moleculars even get easier. This, this binary naming is pretty straightforward and easy if you just remember the rules. Two elements. Whoop, this is taking a breath. Every so often, this decides it has to breathe. 
as two elements, a positive and a negative, charges have to equal zero, and it ends in IDE. Okay, everybody got this? Okay, we're going to go through some examples, and we will have, if we have school tomorrow, a short little five-question quiz. It won't be a, it'll be a 20 percenter, it'll be on Schoology, it'll be multiple choice, so you'll have choices to pick from. So, let's get started here. <laughs> We're going to start with ionic binary compounds. All right, this is where the examples come in, and you need to work through this step by step. So, we're going to go from formula to name. All right. So, let's start out with something simple. N-A-C-L. First of all, tell me what N-A is. Sodium. So, you write the full name of the first element. You write the first the full name of the first element. And then the second one ends in IDE. So we go from chlorine to chloride. Now, here's a second one, CaCl2. We're not concerned about the, the subscripts even at this point. So, what is Ca? Calcium. And Cl again becomes from chlorine to chloride. So next, we're going to try this one, Al2O3. These going from formulas to names are pretty straightforward. What's Al? Aluminum. What's O? It's oxygen, but it changes to oxide. You guys are catching on pretty well to this. And we'll do one last one here. Let me do <clears throat> Okay, according to Cheyenne back here, it is rubidium. Rubidium fluoride. Everybody good with going from formula to name? It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's go. This is where it gets a little more difficult. Name to formula. 